Pisces, singles, welcome. That's your singles reading for the end of January 2022. It's a four-card reading, but we'll get there. I do uh, use the bottom of the deck pretty heavily. Six of Pentacles energy on the bottom this time. So, um, you're in this hermit mode. This is where you're at in real love, romance, and relationships. Uh, and Six of Pentacles, to me, implies uh, there's issues about reciprocation, as in you felt you weren't reciprocated. Um, it could be a, a whole lot of different levels. Um, but you're moving forward with that energy. It's good that you're in the hermit, I think, because, you know, the hermit's looking at yourself and uh, take responsibility for yourself and not blaming things on other people and really you know it's do it to me it's doing the spiritual work uh virgo card should add you know of course uh it, there's a humbleness too to be in the hermit and uh but in the hermit is kind of moving though into the reading so i get the sense that with the six of pinnacles it's like you kind of just been mulling over Pisces, this lack of equality, this uh, lack of reciprocation. It's kind of uh, really, <clears throat> the hermit would try to understand what, what does that mean to them, or what is it cut in terms of a pattern to them. You might think about the psychology of it, this kind of thing. <clears throat> Excuse me, so great energy to be in. Um, this is your singles reading, and I got to say, once again, though, I don't see a person, but I see you moving through a process uh, towards uh, a place where you would be open to someone, I think. But, you know, the four of wands is the building of a long-term committed relationship or marriage, the building of actions one. So that's what's not happening, I think. Um, and maybe that's on your mind, you know, it's like the... the, the the balance is not there. The Six of Pentacles, there's nothing there to balance, to build on. And so you're really examining yourself. I mean, this could be too, I get to feel like, how could I have been so stupid? Why did I do that? How did I not see this? Why, um, you know, how could I have not known better? You're kicking yourself here with the reverse for what? It's about a long-term commitment relationship or marriage. You know, I got to be honest, uh, did doing the two two readings today, he might do something else, but um, I shuffled a lot. <laughs> uh, it was crazy, and I got the exact card in the other reading for Aquarius in the exact position of advice from Spirit. And I thought, like, okay, this is Venus retrograde. This is the advice from Spirit. It's a singles love reading. Um, it's bringing back things back up you know you got the little owl sitting there looking you crossing your heart uh there's a, something emotional that got you um and it, this is a card too it's so much about isolation so as advice from spirit the advice is don't isolate it's like the hermit's trying you're, you're really trying to it's kind of you're realizing you know there's time and place but i've done a lot of uh, fourth house energy i spent my whole life being the hermit kind of uh, but there's a time, you know, when you want to move out of the cave and go out in the world and, and put into practice, you know, you, what you've learned, you know. Um, and with this being advice from spirit, it's about thoughts, and thought patterns, and the owls here. Um, <clears throat> let me get a clarification. Ten of Wands. Uh, ten of Wands. Okay. So uh, we, we got the reciprocation issue. Pisces um, we got the problem you know being this not having energy moving into the building of a relationship and this is because you do too much uh, it's a uh, sun in conjunct moon in the uh, sinistry or natal I have it um, you know it's it, it it's it's nothing wrong you know this ten of wands guy or woman if you're at work, I mean, you're the one they're going to always give the work to. It's like you can have three people sitting there doing nothing, and you're obviously busy. They know you're busy, you know, but they'll give you the work. Why? Because they know that if they give it to one of those other people who are doing almost maybe literally nothing, they know that 
it really won't get done or won't get done right. But if they give it to you, it'll get done. It'll get done right. So it's like people piling and piling and piling, you know, because you're that guy, that woman, you know, in, in terms of a relationship. It's like, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's hard. I, I know this energy, you know, and it's hard to recognize it yourself because it it just feels like, what am I doing wrong? I'm just trying to be nice and trying to love and trying to care for the, my person. and um, it, But there's something energetically, you know, this is what the hermit might be get, get, uh, get down to. And with the moon as the outcome, we're going to end up, uh, it's emotional. It could say that, you know. Um, and there's something emotional going on, which should be obvious, but it's the first thing we have hinting of a, a cup here. Um, wow. And I'm clarifying the moon with the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles to the moon, like the Ten of Pentacles is the ultimate outcome. Um, it, look at how you got the Ten of Wands. This is your advice from Spirit. It's obviously about you need to get to the village. Look like it's getting dark here. Moon starting to come up. And put this burn down, it's enough, you know. And the Ten of Pentacles, I think in this position with the moon, it's just really focusing hard on you. Like everything from brushing your teeth to going to your dental and doctor appointments to getting exercise to eating right. All these practical things. I think that's what it's pointing to. And this is maybe the way the hermit kind of comes out. It's not, he's not going to come out, he or she, and jump like immediately into a relationship. I don't see that in the real near future. Uh, but as soon as you enter this Ten of Pentacles energy, and I think, guys, you know, this could even just be a belief system. I'm Sagittarius. I always say the quickest way to change everything is your belief system. You change your beliefs and kapow, like the whole world can change, you know. A lot of people call you crazy, but what do you care? That's not your belief. So um, this promises, too, some real grounding. I think, like, as soon as you start doing this and kind of getting practical, you know, uh, and making lists, going out, taking care of things, um, I think it's just going to build really quick, and you'll feel yourself very solid. And how you may find your person in the long run, we'll see what happens with the next reading. Um, but as you go forward here with this kind of energy, building your confidence and uh, mastery, and it's going to, you know, people pick up on that vibe. The inner woman, and, you know, they're going to appreciate you a little more. It might give you, look at you a little longer. They may talk to talk to you because they see in you this uh, confidence. It kinda, it's kind of ten of pinnacles energy. It's like some of the best. and They're always going to, and draw, uh, it's like a planet with drawing moons around it, you know. So let me know what you think, guys. Give me a like, appreciate that. Helps the algorithm move things along. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do appreciate it.